Hey everybody, it's Anna. Time for our final card in this week's tarot story. Today we have the Six of Cups. So we had a six yesterday as well, and the six is all about harmony and feeling at ease in the world. So clearly, harmony is important for us this week. Cups are connected to the heart, so that they're about connections with others and emotional wisdom and emotional fulfillment. And whenever I see this card, I think it's a depiction of innocence, which is a perfect harmonizing virtue. We've got two children. They're sharing cups with flowers in them. Um, so there's a sense of really connecting and feeling relaxed and feeling blissful together. We have this man right here in the background who's leaving. The adult is leaving, which I think of as jadedness is getting kicked out. Like we don't need all that jadedness. We just need this moment of innocence and connection. So innocence is not the same as naivete. Naivete means we are ignorant. We, we believe everything's going to be fine simply because we have no context to tell us anything different. Innocence is choosing to come to the world every day with fresh eyes, every day being ready for that heart connection, coming as you are visible, your heart on your sleeve, ready to have connection, expecting that the universe is benevolent and wants to receive you and love you like that. So this card is really about setting aside old stories or old woundedness or healing old woundedness around being rejected, not being loved. You have to protect yourself. The world is dangerous. Kind of that's the jadedness that's getting kicked out. Removing that so that you are free to be your most true, vulnerable, lit up heart self. So consider today what might be getting in the way of you just showing up as you are, heart on your sleeve, letting the world see you as you are, letting your letting your joy shine, letting your, your fears shine, whatever is going on with you, just being who you are and expecting the world to receive you as you are and to love you as you are because you are unconditionally loved. That is actually, I think, a spiritual fact that we have to work to come around to. Other human beings may be faulty in their ability to do this. And in fact, they are because they don't experience unconditional love. But each one of us has access to this universal gift of unconditional love. We have to work for it. We have to commit to it. We have to, we have to peel back the layers that are, that are covering it. But this is what we're going for. This feeling that I am lovable. I am well and all is well as I walk this planet. I don't have to guard myself or protect myself or, or, or hide things about myself. I am perfectly unconditionally lovable just as I am. So consider what is getting in the way of that and see if you can start peeling back some of those layers. See you next time for our next tarot story. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you would like more content from me, please consider joining my Patreon community. The link is right here below the video. I'm committed to at least once a week um, posting content that is exclusive to my Patreon subscribers, and I do monthly giveaways where I, I send people customized tarot spreads. So if that sounds like fun to you, come on and join us. I hope to see you there. Bye.